Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your digital SLR camera if it's got a uh, tethering function, a USB tethering function, you can use your digital SLR camera as like a webcam. So um, we've got this uh, program called uh, QDSLR Dashboard, and I'll just open that up now and bring it over to the window here. And you can see here, and I'll just resize it, make it the same size as the OBS software we've got on the right there. So uh, you've got this little uh, USB icon here, you press that. And I'll, I'll show you first, I've got, uh, it just takes a few seconds, and th there I am there. And I'll show you one, hopefully, this will come up. Uh, there we go. And there's me. So you can sort of see the difference there, the uh, webcam, the uh, <laughs> iPhone, iPhone 7 Plus there, and also the digital SLR. So I'll just show you how it's all hooked up. So basically, I've got my Nikon D800E here. It's got a 50mm 1.8 lens, pretty, pretty much the sharpest, one of the sharpest lens Nikon make. And uh, you just put put the cable in the uh, into the USB port there, and follow it through, and it goes into my into my Mac Mini here. I've got it hooked hooked up with an extension. So that's how it, that's how it works. Easy as that. And the annoying thing about this little program is it's sometimes it comes up with a grid. I'm not too sure if there's a function there I can uh, move, but as you can see there, I'm pressing the AF button. I usually uh, you can use the uh, little square to auto focus, and I'll just press this little icon here and go to OSD on screen display. So I take the OSD on screen display off and then click it again. And there we go, we've got a nice clean video there. And over in the OBS, uh, you can see here of the scenes, I've got um, the uh, D800 webcam here. So uh, I can actually put that on as well. I've got it off at the moment, so I can put it on. And oh, I could probably move it up, move it up to the next one so you can actually see the, see it there, the actual uh, webcam. Whoops, I always have trouble hitting these, don't I? I can just move it around. You probably see me move it around in videos. So that, that's what's happening. You've got the um, Nikon doop, right there, Nikon D800e. I'm pretty sure you could probably get even better quality through uh, like the Elgato you know, video capture card, that sort of thing that that you can get go through to HDMI and then into your computer through there. But this is pretty decent quality because it's for free programs. Well, I'll, I'll leave the link in the description. And uh, gives you a pretty decent quality. It's better. It's better than it's better than the iPhone, as you can see here. <laughs> That's the iPhone picture. And you see, you know, just even skin tones. Everything's everything's better. Everything is better on the uh, on the digital SLR. So I totally recommend it. Um, I'll probably invest in the Elgato later on. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I think the quality is reasonable. You sort of get a few artifacts there, but you can actually go into you can go into the OBS and uh, change like the bit rate that you're capturing as well, and they'll probably improve it. I'm I just don't like to push my my little Mac Mini. You can probably hear it hear it whirling away now. It doesn't doesn't like intensive graphics with the uh, onboard uh, was it 630 graphics it's got on there. It's not it's not that great the HD 630 graphics. But um, if I had an external graphics processor, I'd probably really boost the bit rate up of the whole OBS experience and get like a better quality. But you guys can mess around with that. I, I can uh, only uh, hope to uh, afford a uh, <laughs> capture. I think they're around three hundred dollars or something. The Elgato capture cards, capture little capture devices. I'm pretty sure PewDiePie uses it. He uses it like a. Uh, I think it's a C200 or C300 Canon he uses, and he puts it through the uh, Elgato. But the, as you can see, the quality is reasonably good, especially if you're just using a small, a small window, full screen. You know, you start getting little artifacts here in the hair. Like over here, you sort of get little artifacts. You can see when I'm moving, and that sort of thing. But overall, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think you'll agree that's not bad picture. And uh, so there we go. So that's the setup I use. I've got the OBS, OBS over here, DSLR, QDSLR dashboard there, and uh, it's giving a pretty decent picture. I think you'd agree with that. So um, 
hope you enjoyed that one. Um, any any sort of tips and tricks that I come across, I'll make sure that I uh, I'll do a video on them and uh, share it around because that's what it's all about, you know. Try and, you know, struggling YouTubers, we uh, don't usually have lots of money to throw around and if we've got equipment that's lying around that we're not utilising or can, uh, you know, re, re um, what do you call it, uh, re-establish into, into the workflow, uh, recommission, that's the word I was after, recommission into the workflow and get like a, you know, it just improves the quality of your YouTube videos and, um, yeah, I've, I've got pretty cheap set up here, basically I think I can... Oh yeah, so I've just got like a, a light up here. <laughs> now this is very interesting. This is just like a little a little bag off of. You can see there how bright it is without this. For, so for a diffuser, I've just like got this little little bag that was off a portable portable travel iron from Corja, and I just put it over here as a diffuser. And that diffuses the light quite nicely. Oops. There we go. Softens the light up. A little side light there, and you can see there when I turn it off. And so two lights, probably invest in like a ring light later on. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool at the moment. I'm pretty happy with the setup. You know, it's nothing too fancy, but it does the job. And uh, that's really all you need when you're starting out on YouTube. And uh, probably improve it as I go along. I think I also showed you my. I'll show you this as well. Got my Rode mic here. Whoops. And I've got a Juice Link, Juice Link little uh, preamp here. I'm flipping over. Sorry about the audio. It's probably going all funny. It's a Juice Link DS two one four, and they're pretty rare these because it actually it actually uh, is a preamp for little RCAs here. So. Um, not RCAs, what do you call them? 3.5mm 3.5mm uh, headphone jacks so it actually amplifies that instead of the XLR professional alright so there we go so that pretty much covers it, that's, that's pretty much my setup it's nothing nothing too fancy, nothing too expensive I had the camera, I've had the camera for years so I just recommission it to, into this workflow here and uh, works really well so, hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs up, share around, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, what else can we talk about here? Mm, I've got these, with, got these little things with my headphones with my uh, internet connection. <laughs> it's cost me like a dollar, a dollar of my internet connection, but um, yeah. So uh, leave, leave your questions below if you've got any questions, and I might do another video if, if I've missed anything out. I'm pretty sure I've covered it. Um, Let's have a look. We'll see if we can get into the settings of the OBS and uh, preferences. Does that come up? Oh yeah, that's coming up. We'll see if we can change. Pretty sure there was uh, output. Oh here we go. Video bit rate. So you can sort of change. Well, that's for streaming, recording. We've got a video bit rate. Oh yeah. Recording quality same as stream. So if I changed if I changed the video bit rate here to it's only 3500 kilobits per second. So if I change that to say I don't know maybe 10,000 uh, audio bit rate 160 encoder very fast. I wonder if it will change it on the fly. Let's try let's change it to 5,000 and see if anything happens. Uh, uh, cannot be paused, uh, recording save to you, yeah, okay let's try that has that actually increased the quality? I reckon it might have actually let's try it again go to OBS, preferences uh, get those preferences up again we'll try, let's try 10,000 let's try, oh, let's move the screen over so you can see it the problem you got screens of screens within screens. Let's try ten thousand. Pretty sure it's going to start to hit live view again. Get me another ten minutes. Ten thousand. Press OK. How's that looking? Is that looking better? You can usually see it in the hair. 
I don't think that actually looks any better. What I might do actually is I'll I'll just restart it. I'll just restart it. Just be patient with me. I uh, know it's going to say currently active, so it's not going to work. That's cool. But you can just play around with the uh, bitrate settings there and hopefully get the picture even better. But it, that is pretty clear. It's sort of you know, I wouldn't say it's broadcast quality, but it's it's pretty pretty decent for you know a free software basically. And uh, so you can see my little timer up here. <laughs> see my little timer up there when that goes to zero. I think you've seen anyone that's watched my videos. The scene when the timer goes to zero and I've got to hit the live view button again like that and that brings it back up and I'm good for another 10 minutes it resets back to 10 minutes that's really just to just for a safeguard for the sensor so it doesn't overheat but it's pretty safe to do like even 20 minutes I find I think the uh, Nikon literature says that you can run it for 20 minutes there's 20 minute limit on the actual recording so I don't know why I, why the DSLR dashboard has uh, limited it to 10 minutes, but anyway, that's cool. We get around it. We get around it. I just make sure that I hit the live view. It's pretty obvious. It makes the uh, sound like that <laughs> when the mirror drops again. So back we are. Back to live. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, let's go full screen here. There we go. Full screen. Full screen webcam and it's looking a bit laggy now. I reckon that's probably because I up the uh, up the bit rate. Uh, hit the autofocus. How laggy is that? Yeah, it's something you just got to play around with. It will depend on your system, how powerful your system is, uh, how good your graphics card is, and that sort of thing. So just experiment around with all the little settings. Um, they're the main settings that I use. You know, I'm sure there's probably other settings that you can dig around and figure out, but they're the ones that I've found that work. And um, it's given a decent picture, so I'm pretty happy with. It. I'm going to leave it alone because if I play around too much, then I've got to get audio sync problems, and I'm going to try and sync it up later, which is probably I've probably got audio sync problems now. But <laughs> see how we go. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for that, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.